To the untrained eye, this is just another bow rider, a classic cottage runabout. But calling a Cobalt just another boat is like calling a BMW just another sedan, when it's actually so much more than that. Top quality construction, high-end luxury, and thrilling performance. The primary cameraman for Powerboat Television has said since I first met him that he loves shooting on Cobalts because they handle so smoothly and corner like they're on rails. Turns out he was right. The R3 is built by people that have a deep understanding of water and know how to use it to their advantage. At speed, flick the wheel one way or another, and not only do you start to point in the direction you want to go, but the hull bites into the water and drives you through the corner. And you could even do the steering with a single finger. Trust me, I tried, though I don't recommend it. A firm grasp of the wheel is always better. Handling is often more useful than top speed, as not everyone will run their boat flat out, trim to the max, skipping across the water, but everyone, I hope, will turn their boat from time to time. And doing so on the R3 is a true joy. And yet, for those speed freaks out there, you'll be happy too, as you're capable of high speed runs. We topped out at 46.8 miles per hour, and it was very comfortable doing so. And that was with multiple people and a whack of camera gear on board. Acceleration 2 is exceptional. We clocked a 0 to 20 miles per hour time of 3.5 seconds and 0 to 40 in just under 10 seconds. Cobalt boats have a reputation for being the best of the best. High end construction, quality, great performance. As you can see, just a beautiful, luxurious boat. So much more than just a classic bow rider runabout. And a big reason for that is what they call free space reclamation. And it's most noticeable right here at the helm, right in the middle of the cockpit. It's so much wider than any other boat in its class. That really opens up the cockpit so you aren't crammed together. The seating arrangement is more reminiscent of a sport yacht than a sporty runabout, and the passenger backrest flips forward to make a large partial wraparound lounge. Underneath that seat is a large storage compartment. Even under the small jump seat style position behind the captain's chair, there's more storage. The convertible seat options continue at the transom sun pad with either a full length lounge option or you can pop the backrest up to make a chair facing the large swim platform. Underneath all that is the power plant that launches the R3 through the water. As tested, we had a 320 horsepower Volvo Penta V8. The bow lounge is plush as well with more storage under those cushions and a good size anchor locker. Most impressive up here though is the massive storage space under the seat and seat backs that fold up. The helm is as attractive as it is useful, with multi-function display gauges and LED accented switches blending in with the overall look of the boat. And as a great example of the little touches of luxury, the Cobalt logo, the center of the steering wheel, stays in place as you turn. For the comfort of the captain, the bolstered seat means your line of sight is always ideal. Opposite in the passenger console is both open storage and a roomy glove box. You may not be in the market for a Cobalt yourself, but if you're ever offered a ride in one, take it and make sure they do a few figure eights for you.